there. Merry Christmas. It's that time again of joy and happiness. But what is Christmas about? Well, let's see. Maybe it's about cookies. Or maybe it's about candy cane. They're really sweet. Is it about Christmas trees? Or Santa Claus? Or Frosty the Snowman? Or maybe it's about the baby in the manger. Hey, why don't we read about it? Come on. Okay, so it's in Luke chapter 1. Verse 26. This happened 2,000 years ago in the Holy Land of Israel during the time of the Roman Empire. God would send his son to save us. Okay, now. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. The virgin's name was Mary. Behold the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Jesus' mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit, because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to call his name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son. Now in those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the whole entire Roman world. My love decrees for all of you will go down to the town of your ancestors to register. You have exactly one month to go and register. Those who choose not to will suffer the consequences like getting tortured or getting severely punished or killed by getting tracked down. And I approve this message. Hail Caesar! And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. Sir, do you have a room? I also want to have a baby. No, there's no room in the inn, but there's a stable over there. Thank you. Bye.
and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem and Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. Well, what are you doing here? On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And have been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Jesus would later grow up and he would teach others to love and he would then die for all of us for our sins so that we may have everlasting life. God bless you. Merry Christmas.